Hi Pisces, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is a general reading. I'm going to be looking at four different areas of your life, the present position to validate this is your reading, the strength, the challenge, and the possible outcomes. Spirit may please have the present position to validate that this is Pisces reading. Oh, we have it all here. Do you want to tell me which order, Spirit? Thank you. Okay. Okay. May I please have the tarot to clarify the angel wisdom cards here, Spirit? For those of you that don't know me, I'm a psychic and a medium, and I get my information from the spirit world. So it's really important that you identify with the present position. The present position is what's going on in your life. Now, if you don't identify with the present position, one of two things are happening. Either you're watching the reading too early or you, um, this is not your reading. So if you're watching the reading too early, you need to wait about two or three weeks, put it in a playlist, come back to it then, look at the present position then. If at that point it still doesn't make any sense, then this is definitely not your reading, no need to go on. Uh, look at one of the past readings, last month's reading, or come back um, for a future reading, you are more than welcome. Spirit, may I please have the present position for Pisces, please. May I please have the present position, interesting. Thank you. May I please have the strength for Pisces? My, thank you. Thank you. May I please have the whoops, challenge? May I please have the uh, what's good in the outcome for Pisces? What's good in the outcome? Thank you. Okay, Pisces, what's going on here is... Um, you're really, uh, I feel a very, um, what we have, let me start with that, is the wise counsel, clarified by the justice card in the tarot and the two of wands in the tarot. So spirit, what will validate this reading for Pisces? Bring it forward, tell me what's going on with them. What do they need to know that will help them to validate that this is their reading? It feels here that you're having a, um, the word testament is coming uh, forward for me. So there is um, your, 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 what's the word? You're redefining your unity with your spirituality and how you lead your life and what you want to do. There is an alignment with um, looking or being with a like-minded uh, community or people and asking for help, asking the divine for help um, and trusting that answers are coming, they've been coming. And so there, there is a insight into comparing traditional methods of how you do things with the new ideas that are coming forward and you're clarifying what is best for you. That's coming up in wise counsel. And so you're trying to be fair in the situation. This is what the justice card is. And you're, you're wanting to go with what you know is effectively the truth. And you're trying to tease that out and understand it and look at the evidence, look at something uh, with a lot of clarity so that you can make a balanced or keep in balance internally with what you do. You're very aware that something that has happened, right, cause and effect, that the actions that you take are going to have an effect and you want to be objective in a situation. Here in the two of wands, what we have you doing is planning um, for progress, making decisions and even thinking about a situation at home that could 
have you thinking about uh, new destinations, traveling, getting, um, going from point A to point B? Spirit, can you clear that up for me? I don't understand that. Um, it's almost like looking back to look forward is how I see that. Anyway, so that is the present position. If you don't identify with that, then again, put it in a playlist, come back in two weeks. If you do, then this is your reading. Let's continue. Now I'm going into the challenge here. Spirit is showing me the two of pentacles clarified by the two of cups in reverse. And what we have here is um, the challenge for you is um, there's a lot of stress in regards to work. And it could be that you're doing, like you're being asked to do too much. It's very tumultuous, maybe in the work environment here. And there is a need to bring, bring, bring balance and fun into your life. And you're juggling multiple priorities, right? The needs of what's going on in your personal life, plus what is being asked of you in your working life. And it's... Um, it feels like there's never enough time and you're very, very exhausted. And so what we have here is in the challenge is the ability to spend time. Downtime is what it looks like, Pisces, downtime. So you can um, put into context what's going on around you. Now, one of the things that you're looking at, it seems, is at a prior breakup so you're looking at a relationship that has now um run its course and you're really um looking why is this a challenge spirit because i don't feel like you're out of alignment with your decision um it feels like you want to communicate more with this person like the the um it's water under the bridge but it's almost as if there's just too much emotional energy there to unpack so um you're thinking a lot there's a lot of um it feels like you're walking a tightrope with that or something to do with time and balancing your time and energy and giving it to the people that you want to give it to or the situations. Now in the strength, what we have is renewal and we have the hanged man. So spirit, bring it forward. What's happening here with Pisces? What we have is um, you will get to that place, Pisces. You are going to get to this place where you're going to, um, you're going to, it feels like you're going to have a change of heart or a change of perspective, how you're looking at things. You got, because there is a need to pause and surrender, almost like stop the merry-go-round, stop the roller coaster, so you can get your bearings and you're able to understand where you are, what you're doing and why you're doing it. So I do see you standing still here coming up very soon. I think I said there was something about travel here in the present position. And I do feel that there is a need for that. Now, Spirit just said 48 hours. And so you may only have like a long weekend or something where you can carve out a little bit of time of just um, spending time with uh, the people that matter to you. So you and, and in that, it feels like you are able to find a new direction and have clarity on your life, your life's purpose, what's in your heart and what you know that you need to do. So this may actually be looking at um, work in a different way, I feel. I feel like work is really kind of stressing you out and pulling out your energy, Pisces. Um, it feels like you're sacrificing uh, too much of yourself, too much of your energy is being poured into work and it's and you're not enjoying it, but it's where you spend all of your waking hours because you're getting ready for work, you're working, you're coming home, you're exhausted, you're tired, and um, the people that need you or the people that you wanna be with, uh, you don't have the energy to give them. So spirit makes me feel that you're getting burnt out and that's going to stop, that's gonna change. 
because you are going to let go of what it is that you need to let go of in regards to contemplating something to do with work so you can have more energy in areas that matter to you such as your love relationships that's coming out real strongly so here I see you conquering that in the outcome in the page of wands, right? What we have here, wow, and we have communication. So in the outcome, there's going to be fast communication. There's going to be enthusiastic um, change with you. And you'll be in the outcome. What we have is being creative and a lot of optimistic um, optimism, should I say, and news of exciting opportunities are, are going to come your way you're going to this will this new opportunity coming your way will allow for your creativity spirit shows me a box you've been compartmentalized you've been kind of locked in a box in regards to something that you're doing and it's just feeling stifling and so here in the outcome what i show is that you're doing things your way and you're doing things that you're going to make a choice that f fuels your passion and however, there is something here that you're going to finish what you start, Pisces. There's something here that you're you're doing um, that you started and you didn't get to finish it and um, you want to. So that's going to come. So there's a new beginning here in uh, the page of wands in the outcome along with the eight of wands. So I do feel like an invitation um, is for an opportunity is going to come your way. It does feel like there's going to be a lot of communication, a rapid communication, communication, and as that happens, movement is going to take you in a new, this communication is going to move you in a new direction, Pisces. So there's going to be quick decisions, and again, travel's coming up for you, uh, Pisces. So I see that coming up in a very short space of time. Pisces, that is your reading. If you are interested in life coaching or a personal reading, please look down in the de description box. You can email me at howlovetarot at gmail.com and um, we can take it from there. I hope the reading was helpful, Pisces. You take care and I will speak to you soon.